Hello and welcome. Literally, the bot had just started hosting. <laughs> well timed. Well done. You literally. Oh, it's hosting. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this FBF live stream. My name is John and I am joined by Jeff. Buonasera. And several other people were not able to be here tonight. Uh, so we are playing Arkham Horror. This is a long-running card game that the pair of us have been playing uh, where we sort of bumble around in old libraries and things. And face against horrible tentacle monsters. And face horrible tentacle monsters that want to eat our faces. Yes. Uh, and we and that, don't want them to because we they, like they, our faces. They want to eat our faces if we're lucky. True, true. L eating the face is a good start. Yes. Well, it's a good, good finish, hopefully. Yes, so where are we up to? What's the previous, the previously on Arkham Horror? Boom! No, this, that's... Is where the, this is where the previously should go. Yeah. <coughs> um, do you want to do it? Yeah. Um... We stumble around, last time we stumbled around a university, I want to say it was. It was a university, Miskatonic University, yes. Uh, we didn't we didn't find the person we were looking for, but we did alert the student body to an on encroaching tentacle beast. That is true, that is right, that's what happened. Um, and we, we managed to evacuate the university <laughs> student body before the student body became eaten by the tentacled body. That's yep. That sums up. So we didn't find the guy. I mean, let me get my let me get my campaign notes out. So where can we be? Here we go. No, that's not the one. That's not the one. Here we go. So Professor Warren Rice, who is the professor we were looking for, has been kidnapped. Oh no! We, however, we rescue um, Doctor. We because we managed to get the students out in time and complete the scenario in time. Dr. Armitage was not kidnapped and has joined us on our journey. Yay. Other things, the O'Bannon gang from the Clover Club have a bone to pick with us. Oh. The We rescued Professor Francis Morgan. Yay. And we rescued the students. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And now it's going to be a night at the museum. Uh, because we've got to go pick something up from the museum, don't we? Yes. Would you like me to read the preamble to this scenario? You read the preamble, and then I'll read the agenda. <clears throat> and act cards. Several months ago, Dr. Armitage and his colleagues stopped a rampaging horror from tearing through Dunwich, a backwater town several hours north and west of Arkham. You would have thought that would be in the papers. It was actually not the reason for it, but I think it the um, horror, the effect itself was in the papers. Oh well, carry on then. Side side note: Go read the Dunwich Horror. <clears throat> At first, you imagine this beast as a rabid bear, or worse. No, I don't, because I've read the Dunwich Horror. But the professor's description of the creature paints a different picture. It all began when a man named Wilbur Waitley entered the Orne Library looking for Olius Wormis' Latin translation of a book called the Necronomicon. Wilbur already good. No, good. no, that you can see where this is going. Wilbur already possessed a beaten up English translation by Dr. John D, but he was insufficient for his purposes, for which we are all eternally grateful. Armitage turned the man away, fearing what use the strange man had for the book. Waitley returned in secret, hoping to steal the book, but was attacked by a hound guarding the university. Armitage, Rice and Morgan later discovered Waitley's body. A description of the foul corpse, semi-anthropomorphic and covered in fur, with a leathery hide and greenish-grey tentacles, causes you to question whether or not Waitley was truly human. Uh, well, I mean, that that doesn't sound like <laughs> a human, it, it's got to be said. No, this is true. So, Dr. Armitage says, My colleagues and I were quick to put the ordeal behind us, he says with a sigh. But it seems things haven't fully resolved themselves. I'll tell you the rest later, but for now, it is imperative that we get our hands on that copy of the Necronomicon. That if, means important. That means important, yes. If my instincts are correct, the assailants you encountered will be searching for it. 
After all that transpired, I didn't feel safe keeping it at the library, so I brought it to my good friend, Harold Wallstead. He is the current curator of the Miskatonic Museum. That's thought, convenient. That is, that's where we are. I thought it would be safe in the museum restricted hall, but now I'm not so sure. You must retrieve it at all costs. I feared terribly what they could do with the rights contained in its pages. So then, is it the agenda? It's the agenda first. It's re it, it's, if you look at it, it's actually arranged like a book, so it's the agenda first. Restricted access. Dr. Armitage has given the university's Latin translation of the Necronomicon to his associate, Harold Wolstead, the curator of the Miskatonic University Museum, which sounds remarkably similar to what you just said. Yes. Worried that someone might be still be after the book, you have gone to the museum to recover it. Forced. When the hunting horror enters play, attach the set-aside copy of Shadow Spawned to it, or one resource to Shadow Spawned if it is already attached. I'm sure that's nothing. I'm sure that's going to be uh, fine. That's going to be fine. Up. Yeah, it won't, uh, it won't come up. It won't come up at all. Finding a way inside. Unfortunately, the entrance to the museum is kept locked at this late hour because it's the middle of the night. I know. A security guard is visible through the building's front windows, oblivious to his surroundings. He's not doing a very good job, is He's he? He's not, no. Perhaps you can find a way to get his attention and convince him to let you in. Okay, so we need to draw up our opening hand first. Yes, we do. So How many cards is that? Five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, it's not bad. What's this okay. one? Okay. That's a weakness. I want to get rid. I want to drop down and draw a new one. Uh, so I got two weaknesses. Um, drop them both and then shuffle them back in once you finish. What have we got here? And uh, so then, do I shut? I shuffle them back into the into your main deck. Yeah. One of that. One of that. That'd be cool. Okay, I'm happy with that hand. I'm going to go sort out Rex's hand. I will do the same with Ashcan Pete. I question the shuffling. I have shuffled it. I question the shuffling still as I drew two, two weaknesses. more weaknesses. So we've got here... Uh, okay. That could be useful. I'm gonna. I'm happy with those cards. So I'm gonna become myself again. I'm happy with these cards. Yep. So, as chief investigator of our little band of people, Jenny Barnes. Yes. Would you like to go first? Uh, yes, why not? Well, let's open the museum entrance. The Miskatonic Museum is an opulent and stately building supported by expeditions funded by the university. Its sizable collection of exotic artifacts, curios and art has drawn visitors from all over the country. Investigators at the museum entrance cannot gain resources. Oh. Resign. Eh. How important can a book really be, anyway? Um, <laughs> is it meta gaming to know the book? Um, I think we probably have heard of it in our travels, but no, it's not meta. I wouldn't say it's meta gaming in this case. As you approach the museum, you draw your coat tighter around your body to keep the wintry air away. The full moon drapes the building in ominous bright moonlight. Okay, so. Note. What we're saying is it's spooky. Yes. Museum halls. The entrance to the museum halls is locked. You cannot move into the museum halls. Museum entrance gains. Action. Test for strength five to attempt to break down the door to the museum. If you are successful, immediately act, advance to act 1B. So we can either collect the clues as the act asks us to or break down the door. Uh, well, let's try and collect the clues because... That seems a better plan. Okay, um, shall we let Rex go first then? Because remember, yes. his, remember his special ability. 
Uh, no. After you succeed at a skill test by two or more while investigating, discover one clue at your location. That will be that will be helpful. Shall we do that? Yes. This will be the quickest act in history. Right. So, what's Fingers the cross. what's the shroud value of this thing? This is a shroud value of three, and he has a book skill of four. Right. So his first action is going to be to play his hyper awareness for two resources. Okay. That's his first action. His second action is going to be to investigate, but as he does so, he's going to spend one resource to get plus one to his skill. So that's five. So it's five versus three. So shuffle. Well, that's a great start. That's an automatic fail. Well, poop. So for his second action, he is going to um, just do it straight up, actually. Just four versus three. Come on, not right. screwing us over. So he needs to get a plus one in order to get the two clues. Um, success! That's not a plus one, though. No, that is a plus one, because... An automatic success, the way that mechanically that works, it sets the difficulty of the test to zero. <laughs> so it's not a plus one, but the difficulty of the test suddenly became much less. Indeed. So I'm counting that as a complete success. Somebody can tell me afterwards if that's wrong or not, but mechanically, in, but mechanically that's how that token works. So you succeed the skill test by two or more while investigating. Discover one extra well, even clue. If, even if that's not the way that the automatic success works, look at his star power. Plus two, indeed. Ha -ha. You may instead choose to automatically fail this test to draw three cards, but we don't want to do that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different ability. I'm so sorry. You're right. It's plus two. On this. <laughs> it's plus two, which, which means that we get our clues anyway. So it's one, two. And do we immediately want to advance the act? Um, I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah, no reason not to. So can remove those clues. Finding a way inside. Uh, read the top part of it, please, John. You find the window nearest to the guard and tap it loud enough to get his attention. He gives a startled jump, then shifts open the window. What do you want? He asks timidly. You explain the situation to him and tell him that he is in grave danger. He wearily opens the front door to the museum, shaking his head. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Adam Lynch asset. And this Reveal. is Adam Lynch here. Sorry. Reveal, reveal the museum halls. The museum halls have been revealed. So, proceed to Act 2A, Night at the Museum, which I believe is... No, that's breaking and entering. We don't want that one. That's the one we want. So, that one can go bye-bye. I've got to be careful Night what I'm doing. at go. the museum. The Necronomicon is being kept in a restricted hall somewhere in the museum. Adam barely knows his way around and gives a startled jump at every creak of the old building. I just started here last week, he explains. What sort of trouble did you say was going on? <laughs> you haven't the heart to tell him the full story. You probably gave him a heart attack. If an investigator enters the exhibit hall, restricted hall, advance. So that was Rex's third action, so he is now out. Who do we want to take on Adam Lynch? Uh, what does Adam Lynch do? When you, when control... you control Adam Lynch, treat Tata as if it were Tat. Ah. When Adam Lynch leaves play, remove him from the game and add one stone token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. What does that mean? That means that we get an extra token in the chaos bag. And it's Is it used... a good token? Well, look at the example on the current um, scenario card at the top of the screen. Uh, 
should shuffle that. So who wants Adam Lynch? Who should we give it to? Uh, he doesn't use up an ally slot, so he's just basically a free card that someone can have. Well, I don't really know what the Tatar of, of ability at the security office is. Um, well, the security uh, office is here to the left of the halls. So once we go inside, there'll be an action on that week that we could use, and this guy makes it cost one instead of two. Uh, do you want it? I'll take him. Yep. Yeah. And and then do you want to take your turn and go there? Yeah. Let's let's see the museum halls. Museum halls is connected to each copy of exhibit hall. An action investigators in the museum halls spend one per investigator clues as a group. So we have to get four clues between us. Put the top card of the exhibit deck into play unrevealed. So we get so there's a load of locations up here and we don't know what they are. Oh. And one of these locations is the restricted is the restricted hall. So my first action, as you say, I'm going to move into the museum and I'm Good going start. to move to the left to the security office. And let's Look give it the revealed side of an exhibit hall card. And I need to put play. I need to put more clues onto it because it's only spawned four clues as opposed to eight. Uh so that's what it does. It allows you to basically look at the next. Look at the revealed side of an exhibit hall in play, or the top card of the exhibit deck limit once per turn. Somebody must have left the security office in a hurry. Blood stains the floor under the desk nearby. There are some maps of the museum in here as well. You know what? I'm going to do that. Look at the all the top card of the exhibit deck. So I'm going to look at the top card of the exhibit deck. Um. I'll tell you what it is anyway. It's the exhibit hall. Egyptian exhibit. Yeah, it, be, it being the exhibit hall doesn't tell me much. Um, after you fail it, it's got, it's got a bunch of clues in there. After you fail a skill test while investigating this location, lose one action. Wow. So I'm going to put that out away out of the side, but remember that that's the one that comes out because that was the top card of the deck. Okay. That's my turn done. It's nothing yeah, special. Move, move there. action. Yep. What do you wish to do? There's another unrevealed location over there. I'm going to go to that place, I think. So Jenny is going to move down to here and then across to here. That's two. Yep. And this thing says. Sorry, what did it say on the other. We didn't see what it said on the other oh, side. Uh, a sturdy wood door with a plaque next to it reads Administration. In the hall outside the doorway, you see a row of paintings depicting the museum's many curators. Hey, Scar. Hey, Sammy. In the hall out there, you hear me? In the hall outside many the doorway. Through the years, each adorned with their name and years of employment. Perhaps it's your short imagination, but they look more distressed in recent years. Well, wouldn't you? So I think we just press it at the same time then. And uh, we need to put some more. You cannot. Um, you cannot investigate administration office while you have four or fewer cards in your hand. The office is meticulously organized from the books in alphabetical order on the shelves to the stacks of forms organized by category on each desk. A coat is draped over one of the nearby chairs. Perhaps somebody other than the security guard is still here at this late hour. Okay, so that's your second action. What do you want to do for your third action? Uh, well, I can investigate because I've got, You've got five the... cards in my hand. Yep. Uh, so I will try and do that. It is a shroud of two. Yep, and your skill is three. Uh, so I'm I'm beating it already. You're gonna uh, do it. Uh... We need to get four clues in order to put these locations into play. Remember, it's the book, isn't it? It's the book. Yes. Or in your case, they're all the same. But um, if you're a cards, it's the book. Yes. I I, I have a. I'm gonna. Put this burglary to. Let's have a look at the burglary. Burglary says, yeah. "Okay." It's just the bookmark on it. Okay. So that's four versus two. Come on. That'll do. Yay! Take a clue. Okay. And I'll put that uh, back in. And that is that is Miss Jenny's turn. Yep. So flip her over. And now you get to be Ashcan Pete. 
<laughs> and as I keep saying to Drew, don't forget his special ability with Duke. The chef flew. Um, let's see. No, that's not helpful. That's not helpful. So what you can do, check his ability. He can move and then investigate it as he one action. He can move and then investigate. That's one action. But it needs to be from an adjacent place. Yep. Um, I guess there's no reason not to move down and then investigate into... Well, I mean, technically, I could go either direction, but yeah. I have got five cards in hand. So you're going to do that one? So I can go this way, uh, which is an easier place to investigate. Uh, and I'm investigating with a skill of four. Yep. What's this shroud on this one? Three. Yep. You've got three. This way is two. Yeah. How is the game going? We have pretty much just started, but we... Did the quickest first turn in history and <laughs> yes. got straight to Act 2, which went real well. <laughs> uh, oh, do. that will not do. That's a minus 4. That's a minus 4? That is a minus 4. Oh, dear. Uh, which is... Which, which 0 is less than 2. Yep. Um, don't forget his... But if you do that, you can't then investigate... So you can't refresh Duke because if you do, you've got four cards in your hand and you can't investigate. Uh, act one was literally the length of the first character's first turn. <laughs> that was that was really good. It was a good uh, start. You need, we needed to get two clues and the first character managed on the first turn to get his beat two a clues. skill check by two or more which got them an additional clue on top of the clue they got for investigating. And so we were able to just straight away turn in... Act 1. Act 1, and move to Act 2. Okay. Um, so... So, yeah. Um, at this point, um, uh, I'm, I, I can book myself, uh, which... I, I could book myself. You could book yourself, but you need to get a zero or better to beat it. Unless you put uh, any... I will book myself and throw in this look what I found. Look what I found. If you're paying it as that pay to don't forget your Actually, two resources. Why don't I just why don't I just you You're gonna take that turn back? I'm gonna take that thing back into my hand and Wait, did you, I you, I'd say you didn't shuffle it, did I you? I need to shuffle. I'm going to book myself. Minus one. I am one less. I have failed by two or less while investigating. I'm going to expend one resource. Two resources. Cool. Look what I found. Two clues at your location. That is awesome. That's a very nice bit of playing. It helps when you read the cards. <laughs> read what the cards do, guys. So let's read what the that. cards do. That's officially your last turn, isn't it? That is officially all that Ash can peep. Okay, so... Um, let's start from the right. So we need to flip all our characters over. Flip. Flip. And draw a card and take a resource. However, Rex can't take a resource because he's at the entrance to the university. But he can draw. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing. That's a good one. 